But as I was saying, I forgot about the G-Fighter. It's a pretty cool unit. You know, they got rid of it and replaced it with the core booster in the films, which is what's been featured ever since then. Uh, because apparently it's more realistic. And I'll admit that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, one space fighter from another, right? The core booster actually looks pretty much just like the uh, Part B of the G Fighter combined with the... Whatchamacallit? A core fighter. That's basically what that is. So it's really the same, but for some reason, it's... I, I don't get it, but, you know, whatever. We'll watch this one. I haven't used regular beam attack, beam dagger attack in a while. I really like the G Fighter and all the different configurations it had for the Gundam. And I think we lost a feature not having that in the game. You know, G Fighter would have been pretty cool. You could have had the G Armor and the G Bull or the Bull Fighter, whatever they called it. <laughs> They're kind of goofy, but it gives you more options with the Gundam. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have the escape feature, actually. Because, um... That's what the core block system's all about. Is they put it in there... Because, uh... Oh! Wrong button. Uh, but they put the core block in to be a, an escape pod, basically. So that should be a feature for the and the other RX ones too. The original gun cannon and gun tank should be, because they have that feature. Certain mobile suits have an escape, so that when they run out of health, they'll automatically, you know, transform into another unit. So that should be what happens to the Gundam, the gun cannon and gun tank. But it's not for some reason. But oh well, not a big deal. I also really miss all the the action. Pretty much the biggest difference between the movies and the television show would have to be... I, I'm i amazed that he's just out of range there, which is a shame because he'd have been a big help. But all the same. We'll move in for the kill. Move in for the kill! The kill! But yeah, the... Between the original series and the movies, they just cut out all the action, kept all the dramatic bits. I mean, there's even a scene that's completely unnecessary. I'm pretty sure it's just there because um, Mirai is naked. So they're like, let's see naked Mirai in, you know, old-ass art. And they kept that in the movies, but they got rid of all the mobile armors. <laughs> they got rid of all the extra fights. So I know it's like, well, it, it was kind of boring, you know, the fights were the, kind of the same thing over and over. But, um, you know, it's still, it's, it's stuff happening. And, but we, we got, you know, all the cheesy parts. They're still around. Just not the action parts. Okay, so he's not done yet, but he will be soon. Meanwhile, we've got a whole new set of problems here. All right. How much you got left? Doesn't look like much. Oh, you're out of energy. Alright, I'm just gonna send you back. Because we have units just waiting to come out and kick your butt, buddy. Revenge for the Zuda! She'll pick to death. There you go. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have that extra animation that Unit 1 did, where he shot the flare up in the sky after he finished someone off with a shield pick. So that's all this guy. Bazooka him, he can't even fight back. So it's a one-way bazooka shot. So yeah, I don't like a lot of the stuff they cut from the series. I actually am starting to like the TV show a lot more than the movies. I know people prefer the movies. That's fine if it's your preference. But I think they cut out some of the best parts of the the series with some of the stuff that they removed. Yeah, might as well bombard them. The 
almost finished him off. Soften them up for somebody else to finish him, which is the important part. But come on, Shar, kick these guys to death. It's pretty funny, we got Shar and the Gundam fighting side by side. Of course, it's not Amaro and the Gundam, but what are you going to do? Score some easy wins for Shar here. No need to see the kick every time, right? We can mix it up every now and then. <laughs> Level up Shar's got no more. His Zaku again. Now these two can't actually do a team attack. Because even though they're both mine and they're both leaders, they uh, they only do team attacks with their team. Oh, as such, I didn't realize that Gundam was low on health. There you go. Did okay. Who wants to kill? Well, the only one who can reach would be the Jet. So let's have our. Jet Core Booster get the finishing blow. It'll be good experience for the Jet Core. We can unlock the Core Booster and uh, well, the Core Interceptor. And then later the Core Booster and the Double Zeta Fighter. Which will eventually unlock the Double Zeta. That'll be a long ways off, but it's just part of what we're saying. We probably already have enough for the Interceptor. I'm not positive. The Interceptor isn't much better than this one. It uh, doesn't have the anti-ground attack, but it does have... Um... Okay, is there any other enemies? No, those are mine. Oh, there's one here? No, that's ours. Okay, you guys, you guys are still fine, so hey. Might as well pass. We're still waiting for the... Final showdown between the Ifrit and the Pixie. Which will hopefully still end well for the Pixie. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure because this the Ifrit Snow Slouch. It's a pretty cool attack animation though, not gonna lie. Yep, he missed, but we're good. I was getting a little worried because his health was low. <laughs> There you go. Scores to hit. Cinematic finish. It's pretty cool. No cutscenes as you saw for Pixie. So just another example. Sometimes you'll go through a whole story. Uh, I think did we fill up the get gauge? Look like it. Definitely got the score bonus. But you don't always get a cutscene. <laughs> There's not that many of them actually. So enjoy them when they pop up. Oh yeah, that's right. Now I remember what happens here. This is kind of bogus, actually. <laughs> and he wipes out the gun cannons and reappears. So yeah, we gotta get him, well, if you want him to finish E free, you have to get him all the way back down there again. And yes, it's a pain in the butt, but it can be done. Those are gallops. There's the on-ground units. I kind of want to save this guy for Bork, if I can get him down there. That's who it is, right? Bork Cry? But for the Pixie. Because it just seems right, you know, you gotta finish your feet with the Pixie. And you guess what this guy's gonna do? This scumbag? Yep, he's gonna take off. And Amro never gets his Pixie. Because Noct Gaddish is a fucking coward. Yeah, this wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was. I mean, it was still a little rough. It didn't help that I brought a stupid fucking 
Magella tank. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. But Magella has an escape ability. That's why the top pops off. So that's what I was talking about before. Like the when the Gundam gets destroyed, it should turn into a core fighter until so it gets back to the ship, and then it can go back to being Gundam. That's usually how that works, I think. Yep, Dia took off, leaving Pixie behind, all by himself, his other units. Uh, his allies are gone. They were destroyed. And of course, the one other thing that will trigger the bonus enemies. Yes, that's an Ifrit Noct and a couple, I think, Desert Zakus. Ifrit Noct is actually from, uh... What is it from? I, I can't remember now. Oh, it's from 81, the battle record. That's right, that's where it came from. It's very mobile. Ifrits are very mobile units. Yeah, these are the Zaku 2 Desert versions, which are just a, a Zaku 2 with another paint job. There's not much to them. Okay, so. Troubling times ahead. I actually kind of want to withdraw these two just because they'll need the ammo anyway. Gundam needs ammo. Can he get back in? He can, just barely. Move the mini tray up. He can attack, but he can only attack one of these little tanks. Big tank versus a little tank. Almost enough to destroy it. And then there's this guy. I'm not sure about this guy. And he can't get close enough to help. So he's gonna have to take these guys on for now. He'll have some backup though. Not all bad. I'll move this up. And then that'll attack. We gotta take as much out of this Noct as we can. But Noct is a stealth unit. It's very difficult to hit. It's got a stealth field like Hilda. And it's not gonna be much help. Skills. Yeah, you super guard on you. Your machine gun has got a better chance of hitting. Yeah, you got it. It's not too bad. I should have shown that to you guys. I didn't think about it. But the Noct has some interesting animations. Let's try the smart bomb. See if it hits. I mean, the core booster has a good shot anyway because it is harder to hit. But. Oh, nope. That's what the misanimation looks like. Shouldn't hit. There you go. That's the right way. <laughs> and we only chipped away at him just a little bit. Oh yeah, gun tank can come back. But he didn't come out in a spot where you can actually hit the knot. She's probably not going to succeed in doing anyway. Because he has a low hit chance to start with. It was worth a shot. <laughs> yeah, I might as well send him out. Because he can use his uh, captain there to help him. Oh, I should have watched. You guys missed it. There was zero chance of hitting him for some reason. I don't get it either, but... There we go. Just one more attack. If anybody can one-shot this little tank, it's this guy. He probably won't. Nah, I missed. It's hard to hit the sucker. You have to get him close, and he's dangerous in close. Probably gonna hit. Yep, yep, lots of damage. <laughs> well, like I said, I've got the captain there to help him out, and also the Zaku one who evaded damage last time, so he's fresh still. Alright. So these guys are okay. There's nothing in between. We're just gonna send these guys back down. Do you have like a move boost? No.
No. I thought you might, but you don't. That's fine. Should we attack just for the sake of... Oh, you, I didn't think about it before, but yeah. Attack. And then you can move again. Silly me. Here I am like, oh, they're going to be stuck up there. They can totally keep it going. And you can even attack again. This guy down here. And there you go. All mines destroyed. And I destroyed every other mine in this part, so I'm not worried about him. His extra experience for the rhinoceros as well, which I don't think he even leveled up or anything. So level 2, that's something. But it needs to get to level 3 before it can even become anything remotely good. Okay. Could probably do it with a beam dagger. It couldn't. He's gonna get hit. Son of a gun. <laughs> oh well. Alright, pass guys. Let's uh, tally up the damage here. Okay, sucks, but he'll take it. 2500 to the tank. Yeah, that's all it is. Getting in close, huh? You want to. You should know Zuda's pretty good at melee. Better actually than a Zaku 1. Possibly better than Zaku 2, not sure. Get that shield pick in. There you go. Oh, it didn't finish him. Even though it was a critical, that kind of lame actually. <laughs> I guess this Zuda needs to be leveled up more. Well, you didn't get a defense option. That's kind of depressing. I mean, it's okay. Who's gonna support you? Ship, of course. Might as well. Should we watch it? Why not? The glory of the Zaku. Who's been surprisingly difficult to hit? Not gonna lie. Might be an ability that that pilot has that I'm not aware of. Well, everything hit. It was way more than we needed. Super high. I'm just gonna have him do it. Ah, they actually hit him. I'm surprised and kind of irritated. <laughs> Isaku one's been doing pretty good, but I don't want to uh, test his luck, you know? Level four is really high. I don't think he even needs to level up more. I should have put that in defense, but oh well. Someone actually attacks someone else. Yeah, might as well. Share the experience there a little bit. Can't hit nothing. <laughs> oh, so this is everything or nothing, huh? Yep, that finished him. It's escaped. <laughs> I've never actually had can only counter because it's too close. I've never actually had a Magella top. <laughs> oh, I wanted to get to those things because I'm betting it has something good. Yeah, kick him. Use support. Use all the support you can get, man. And the air is the best you can do, huh? Go for it. Everyone counter. <laughs> no one's hitting anything. Come on, one of you hit. Okay, critical, good. And we don't want to hit him, because we want to capture those Zakus. Uh, like I also mentioned, I want to get down to those Gallops down there, because I'm pretty sure they've got more units for me to capture, right? Yeah, Zaku 2s. Zaku 2s aren't much, but it actually is a pretty decent troop building. And of course you can sell them for a decent chunk of change. 
Okay. I'm gonna try to bring these guys down. And nothing ain't gonna be in his range. Can't believe I screwed you up before. Ain't gonna do that again. Our attacker broke, buddy. Yep, that's enough. Oh, his uh, get gauge wasn't full yet. Oh boy. Well, he'll survive it, but it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Alright, back to down here. A lot of wounded warriors. But the other thing I would like to do... Oh wait, you have war yet. I sent all your guys back. Yeah, he's not gonna hit, but he's out of range, so... No chance of reprisal. Sorty the Gundam. I wish you were in range of the Hyper Hammer. There we go, we finished him off. Oh no, we didn't, he's still going the bugger. I guess this will be another opportunity for a GM early type. Not gonna hit, not from that far away. But that's fine because all of that was just a warm up for this. Everybody target that guy. <laughs> Let's see it all happening at once here. Group attack has a much higher chance of hitting, so. <laughs> It's not white base in the crew, but it's still something. They did pretty good, too. I'm not gonna lie. And that'll do that job of capturing that. Level 5 for my mini tray. Take some uh, energy and some attack. Level character levels up. Could be everybody or could just be this guy. Yep, it's everybody. Everybody, I just noticed it's like more than half the crew is blue hair. Okay, maybe only half. There's kind of blue. Character level ups. Yes, yeah, experience for everyone. You gotta love the group attack. It's a lot of energy, but uh, it does the job. So let's capture our new Zaku 2s here, the desert version. Probably going to wind up selling a lot of these. Now who do you have inside you? No one. I'm going to move you forward. Oh, you can't do a group attack. Kind of lame. Put any air on that thing. Stars out of energy. You're still going. Might as well do a melee. If you can get a few easy kills in, it works for me, man. Meleeing shoulder tackle on the tank. That's sound tactics. Okay, and now you've got uh, a couple weaker enemies to fight through here. I'm just going to send this back in the hopes that it will recover into a full-fledged tank again. Maybe I'll do another shield pick. You down. Get you super high back over, use the machine gun, hopefully actually hit this thing. Takes it out. Unit leveled up again. Rack up that experience, boys. Take some defense. Suit is not a real tough one. Final step. 
Might as well swing her back. This. Oh, he's done. Back into the ship it is. Okay. So this guy's supercharged. But we have a gun tank here that can move still. Of course, if we want to use the leader benefit, which won't help actually help us at all. Well, we might as well use some of you. That's Miguel Atav. You should be able to take that out with those quad missiles. Boom, boom. There you go. Another one bites the dust. Well, you could wipe out both of Miguel Atav's if you wanted to. I mean, you might as well. Some extra power packed in you. Keep those level ups coming so you can become a mass uh, assault type gun tank, which is very useful to actually unlock them. Take that one out too. And last but not least, too close to that. There you go. See what you can do about that guy. Probably gonna miss. Yep. Melee attack. Melee attack him. Super critical. Not enough to finish it though. But we've got a pinned in. Pinned in good. Let me move those guys up already. Okay. So that's it. Then you don't have anyone to sortie? Nope. You don't have anyone to sortie? Nope. We're done.